Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Drinking Bros. Oh. Hi. We didn't even have to do a clap. Hey, in. no, we don't. We yeah. don't. It's a Ross it's is a, in here. It's an RF. You know, it's a Ross free episode. It's a Ross, <laughs> Ross free RFE. episode. He's, you know how they have it's glute, a reefy. They have gluten free at the bottom of the menu. It's GF. Right. RF, 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 RF and all the titles. Ross free. Shows. Free. Yeah. I will yeah. say to Ross that I, it sucks for him because he's stuck in Dallas right now mm. on his way here. Yeah. Fuck that airport. I have always been delayed out of there. We got we just a had cancellation, to to another day, delay, like a couple weeks had to ago. stay over, then another delay, like four Is hours. Is it DFW like or Dallas times. Loves? It no, was, we were at DFW. We were at DFW. Yeah, Dallas Love, I, I hardly ever, because that's where Southwest connects out of. That's what we said when we were up there. Right. We were like, we should have flown out of Love yeah. and flown on Southwest because this is dog shit. Southwest pay us. They yeah. I feel like Southwest never delays for the most part. Can, they like, have a massive fleet. That's why you never take Frontier if you actually have to get there because Frontier's cheap, yeah. But they have if, four airplanes. Yeah, if the flight goes down, there's not another airplane at that airport to take you. They have to fly another one in. It's my, bullshit. <clears throat> my new favorite airline is Allegiant. It's a really good one. Oh. I don't believe this. <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, I will say it is more budget than Southwest and Frontier. <laughs> I wouldn't the call seats Southwest actually, budget. Everybody they, flies they, first class. They in incline, so they put you in a position and more like forward oh, in so, a ball. So it's like a stress then, position. From, yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, it, <laughs> And if you're complaining about space with your petite frame, that's impressive. I wouldn't define myself as petite. <laughs> I, here's what I want to know. Wait, is, I, I want to say petite. It was my favorite line when I, when I used to contract. There was this SAS guy. He was an intelligence guy. And he, he was like a buck 50. And one day I said that to him. I was like, oh, dude, you're not like small. You're just kind of like petite. It fucking ruined him the whole entire deployment where he was lifting every single day and did not like me. But I'm like, I got you in the gym, so yep. you're welcome. Hey, that's fine. Tough I love, don't know brother. why people. I don't know why people let words affect them. And if you're if you ever listen to this podcast, buddy, miss you. He's a cool dude. Just had a petite frame. Your yeah. thing yeah, is you don't fine. you don't understand most of the words, so you like skate by without getting offended. Just yeah, but you, my quality of life is higher than a lot of that's the true. Other yeah, people. ignorance like, is bliss. They say. Yeah, that, um, that's what. They say. They, I mean, I I run down an internal checklist of, does this affect me getting to my next meal? No. no. That's a daily checklist. Okay. Yeah. Does it affect me, you know, getting to my house where there's possibly vodka? Yeah. No. Oh. Oh, wait. That's a, my checklist. Yeah. That's a simple life. Yeah. You should write a book. It's like the four-hour work week, but it's just like how to live life. No, how to, you know. That revolves just, around food and alcohol. The four-hour work life. Right. Yeah. Four hours yeah. a week. Four-hour yeah. work life week. <laughs> I was gonna, like, so I was going to talk about these airlines. I don't think Southwest <laughs> can be classified as a budget airline. I think they have gotten so big, like almost like Amazon or something, where it's just, it, they, they're not budget. They can just be cheap. Amazon's you know? an online retailer. Yeah. <laughs> like that's, I wouldn't compare those. Why? It's, one is an airline. And one I'm is just an talking retailer. about size and performance. They're able yeah. to scale their pricing down. Here's my big question. Mm -hmm. It's 2019. Why aren't planes capable of taking oh off with you in your seat reclined? That I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the airlines are just like 20 years behind the power curve. Well, just like, how are. long did it take for phones to be able to be the, used on a plane? Well, like, they're come still the fuck way on. behind on that, too. So that's yeah. a, that's another argument I know. You know, uh, the, the LTE spectrum, and uh, Evan will understand this, uh, operates in the 8,091 to 8,096 megahertz. Like... You know what the highest radio? Let's combo the... speak. We just gotta <laughs> fucking shut it down, or we're gonna put everybody to sleep like right now. So yeah, but this is this is what you can you know yeah. reference back. Just I always, write I get the script and put it online. Okay, so the, the highest radio that radio will go inside the airplane is five hundred twelve. Okay, so back to the zero hour work week that you should write, yeah. and it's all about just being homeless <laughs> and how to collect money. So that's the book. Zero I don't hour even work know. Week. I don't know if I would be good at that though. I, I could not stand it in an off ramp and and hold no, a sign. No, you don't have I couldn't to. do that. I would move like, to like Santa Barbara, California, where the weather's like seven degrees year round. You mm. have free access to a beach. Mm. You definitely are going to get some McDonald's thrown at you. Oh yeah. And then all you mm. got to worry about is getting enough change to my get tactic, a liter of fucking vodka. My tactic, if I'm ever homeless, is to go someplace warm, and then I approach a muffler shop. And say that I will guard their shop at night, but work at night too. If you teach me how to weld, and then pay me under the under the table. 
That's that's <laughs> wait, wait wait is being homeless is being homeless what? that bad? What the fuck are you talking about? I'm just saying why a muffler shop? Because it's just one of those things that are always locally owned. There's not like a fucking you know <laughs> giant, that one. giant Kmart you know style oh muffler God. shop. So it's locally owned. So you can befriend the owner. And then you could be like, I, you know, teach me your trade, and in turn, I'll offer discounted work, but let me sleep at your building, and I'll guard it for you. So when do you sleep if you're working at night? <laughs> I, 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 just love, I just love how much he's thought about oh, yeah. this in such detail, <laughs> where I'm going to a muffler shop in Santa Cruz... Santa Cruz gets a little cold though. You kind of want to go, go someplace a little more warmer. south. I would like go Florida, San Diego to Santa Barbara. I'd if go you're going to go Florida, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Yeah, that humidity though. That's fucking yeah, hot. Yeah, but still, you can sleep. You know, no, there's no cold. That that this is the thing because you've thought about how you would build your your primary alternate contingency and emergency planning sequence into you being homeless. That's why you'll never be homeless. Oh, because I would imagine. There's a there's yeah. a big portion of just homeless people. Well, we all know. I mean, it's you know drug addiction and uh, mental illness that contributes to probably the, the majority. It's not because of the lack of planning, right? Like they, that's probably a sliver where the, that's yeah. like, hey, I don't understand how to plan, and I didn't really execute my plan very well because that's pretty easy. I work, I use that money to pay for the things that provide me shelter because it's one of the what the three things that you need, what food, water, shelter. That's right. Yeah. So I need these three things to (laughs) live. Physiological need. I I need these three things to live. It's technically not depending on the climate and environment you live in. What? Yeah. Shelter, food, and water. No water and food. Yes. Those are necessities to your biological function. I can build that anywhere. Wait, what? Not necessarily. Uh, yeah, it, not in an or maybe an urban. But like a little stand to with yeah, like I can a build a lean to. No, not even that. I can. I mean, I've been this year. I know how to build a fucking shelter. I think it's I, when 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 things inst- happen in your life when you start to bump out those priorities like food, water, shelter. When you start to bump out those priorities and you say like crack cocaine takes a, a higher priority in my life than those three things, heroin. That's. You know that that's when things start to go wrong for you, and that's oh. when most people will start to go. Do homeless. people get Alcohol? a heroin addiction in their like late thirties? Yeah, really? Yeah, for sure. Like, so they did just you just get up? excited that you could become a heroin addict? No, no. He, but he I look at other people's. Yeah, I thought of other people's curves. You know, like Richard Gere didn't get famous for mo- making movies until he was like older, like forty ish. Yeah, sometimes you know, there's some singers you that like that that didn't make it until later. There's a, now this. What's the, the point the, you're making? I don't, I don't I, know that I still have something that I could, you know. Dan, I don't know. Transition the to topic. <laughs> I'm not. Well, no. This whole. I thought about this because I wanted. I had a concept for a show at one point called Restart, where you have to you have to cut everything up. You can't use any contacts, no phone, nothing. You have to go in a town you've never been in, and see where you can get yourself to in one year. Yeah, this is already a show. What's it called? Bag, Borrow, and Steal. It was on never for like 10 that. fucking years. I've never heard that. Yeah. yeah. What channel was that Who do you on? think would win out of the four of us? It's very, like, you show up to a town, no resources, no if money. No resources. It's just up to you. It depends on him. what you mean by win. Yeah. What yeah. Because win? if it was just to exist, he's basically Oscar the Grouch. He's a garbage person. He could live in a dumpster indefinitely. That's true. Yeah, but I'm also the fastest that would somehow talk my way into living in somebody's mansion. No, he that's, would. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. Yeah, yeah. he would. And within 15 minutes, he would be in the wealthiest home, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. sleeping with the couple. <laughs> like, he's just, a, he's just like... I'm a Cato hey, Caleb. Yeah. yeah. It, you but, are but a Cato, yeah. But a different because I think you ended up sleeping you, in the couple's bed. Yeah, uh, you would drop that line. Yeah. You'd be like, "Hey, can I live with you?" And I'll even do samezies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll do some of the samezies. <laughs> oh man! Do I have to do? I mean, that's the question: is what's the contest? Yeah. Is is it is it money? So at the end of the one year, who no, has that's the most not fair money? Because people have skills that they could immediately. Yeah, use. but we kind of have all the same. We're kind of on a level playing field. The skills. Okay. When it, if you think about it, mm-hmm. it's not like one of us is a fucking doctor or a lawyer or something. Like, well, Dan. we know, we know. Dan is a doctor. Yeah. We know, you know, infantryman skills. We know some communication. We know some marketing. We know some camera and editing and things like that. So it's like we're kind of pretty level with the skills. That I guess. Yeah. Well, we don't yeah. have any secret like trades that. How do you know? Yeah. I mean. 
he might be able to weld decent, but I think we could all probably <laughs> weld just would, as good. I would not classify myself as a decent welder, my friend. You're not a good welder? Uh, no. I, I can put I two pieces welding. of steel together, and they will maintain a hold for yeah. sure yeah, yeah. All right. but yeah. isn't that uh, really what welding is just like structural integrity of yeah. like it is there's, 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 there's a lot of aesthetic yeah, value aesthetic to a good I weld went yeah, but I, who cares about aesthetic a value? long just need forging obsession re- oh, okay yeah i was making making stuff you had a lot of weird cycles in your life you used to yeah. be like the little you know japanese race car dude yeah, which tuner, is still, yeah. still the day yeah. You have a yeah. Ford Focus that is not a performance car, but it is a callback to your teenage car. years. It's a 2.5 liter. Eco oh, my boost. God, dude. Stop. stop. Yeah. No. Yeah. Stop. stop. What, what is it's something that you've always wanted to do, like race cars? or I feel like you're going to have a midlife crisis, but it's going to be a very entertaining no. one. Yeah. What, no. what, what would be, if you could take any profession outside of what you do now, what would it be? And it can't be from one in your past. Like something I've already done. I feel like you'd be yeah. a professional fisher. In Florida, yeah. What would be your new profession if you could reinvent yourself tomorrow? I would love to fly fighters, but I mean that's can't. a lot of work. You, but that's you can't do that. <laughs> You're too old. Like, yeah, I know. I, I, come on, I know. Oh, so you want me to pick like something yeah, new, like, like something? If you were like tomorrow, like hypothetically speaking, if you were fired from Black Rifle Coffee, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Hypothetical. <laughs> tomorrow, where would yeah. you go? Yeah, where would you and Dave go? <laughs> that is an interesting like thought process as far as like if there was no monetary restriction mm-hmm. and you had to redefine your life tomorrow what would you do because i think people probably fantasize about that but like you don't have to worry about no zero money so you yeah. could go but you have to go into a profession what is that profession oh yeah. what is it i don't know you don't know i i it would need to be something with a lot of freedom because i i don't trust people that tell me no <clears> ever <throat> No, but like you just have to be good at one thing, whether that's flying a plane, are you fishing, are you... I don't want to fish, the boat are stuff Are you sucks. a boat blowjob expert, are you... Mm-hmm. I'm, you know, i, I got to think about this. Let's go to Dan. Yeah, go to Dan. Yeah. I would write books, probably. Yeah, you'd That would be fun. I'm, all, I'm, I'm banking on that for when I go to jail. You can't take his idea. Yeah, but it's like <laughs> Jesus, I, I, man. I sometimes fantasize about being in jail because then I have the time to write. Yeah, okay. I think that's not why you fantasize <laughs> that's, about being in jail. That's, that I think you fantasize and... about being in jail because of the samesies. No, yeah, same-sies. no that's not it. Yeah. Because you can go to jail just for a day. Yeah, and you can do samesies <laughs> in a day. Samesies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you is it gay in jail? Ad- you can no. advertise your house as jail for other people that want to pretend. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that's... That's, that's some pretty deep role playing you got going on there. Oh. Mm-hmm. You could just. Tell everyone that you're gay and then bang dudes all you want. <clears throat> That's what you can do. Yeah. You can do that now, actually. Yeah, you could totally yeah. do that. You could do that now. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you well, pointing at? <laughs> the, the camera. Oh, I was like, oh, I thought you were pointing, pointing at Dave. Pointing at Dave. I thought you were, the thing is, 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 is offering I, up I, Dave. this is a hard well, question for now. me because it's like, <laughs> You, you, we've we've put our toe in a lot of different things. I've gotten to fly fighter jets. I've gotten to fly helicopters. I've gotten to race in cars. I've gotten to ride dirt bikes. That's, I would be. That's you know, why he asked you the question. Yeah, you but I don't stuff. know. Okay, so my answer would be: yeah. I would build a home studio and I would learn every instrument on the planet because be cool. I already dabble in a decent yeah. amount. And then I would join some shitty fucking blues rock band and just fucking See, I thought travel about that and too. get hammered, yeah. like every other white actor in his fifties. Right, like because yeah. you don't have to do anything. Like, hey, rip a solo, yeah. and then. Yeah, what, how is, do you show up for work? Really you, ten minutes before you go on stage, you, you warm up the hands. Like, yeah. it's, I'm not saying it's easy. I've but worked in, in, in my, a studio in my fantasy, before, and it was miserable. I want nothing to do with that again. You don't so work like, in a yeah, studio. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying. Musicians. I've done so many different things that it's like I get bored. Like even like if it's like, oh, you're gonna be part of a race team? No, I get bored of that in like 20 minutes. Like we have right. all access it's called to ADHD. Yeah, you to, have uh, it. to the NASCAR weekend, and like I was bored in 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. But so, yeah. what's what's a career that uh, kind of tracks with ADHD? What what's a kind of career that changes frequently? Because that's what you should be looking at. Oh, I don't know. What is it? The Merchant Marines. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Great selection. <laughs> oh, I, I, love I think it. you would go fly, and then you would get really bored mm-hmm. of flying, yeah, and then you'd go just work sitting on a shrimp boat, and you would do one three month rotation and be like, mm-hmm. "Fuck that! Mm-hmm. Never doing right. that again." No, shrimpers don't go out; they stay in. Well, whatever. Or yeah. cod fisherman. What about a professional con man like Catch Me If You Can? I think he would be good at that. Or what about, remember Probably that Remember be. that show mm. back in the day? Uh, the main character's name was Jared, and he became just other people. Like, oh, what was uh, that called? The, 
Yeah, I know what you're talking oh, about. Quantum yeah. Leap. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> it was the Pretender. Highlander. The pretender. Yeah, yeah, the Pretender. The Pretender. That I was would a good do show. that. That was a good like, show. I would, I would love to go, uh, you know, maybe be hired by high-class CEOs to go spy on certain divisions of their companies. That oh, would be really fun. Nice. Yeah. Called a private yeah. investigator. Yeah. Wait, they do that too? They like go undercover? There's well, they different... have corporate intelligence guys. Yeah, yeah that, that would be different fun. levels. Like, yeah. I will say, my dad was a private investigator for many, many, many of years. And back when I was in high school, he would actually have me go do intelligence gathering oh, yeah. on some of the people. And it was fun, it's really fun. as fuck. I did it for when I was doing private security in California for a while. It was really? interesting. It's yeah. fun. I got I, caught once, but like I played it off. I'm like, I'm a 15 year old kid. What the fuck? Don't I helped about that Tactical camera. Ranch do a couple of the, uh, mm -hmm. the high profile survivability uh, yeah. courses super right. fun super fun yeah uh, have you heard about though like they'll they'll straight kidnap like yeah. a ceo we kidnapped the guy no. that, that mm -hmm. invented this fucking massive video because game. they want to go through it and learn yeah. how to survive and shit it was it's fun. a pretty fun course i played him d antwood while he was tied up really mm -hmm. it's like corporate seer i think you're just listening to music and then yeah was just, i mean i just thought d antwood was was you know, setting for the mood. Right. So you wouldn't even want to go like tour and be an Irish musician. No, for like I would six love months. that, but I didn't think that that was on the table because I've Anything's already kind of done that. Like you've already done it, but not to like its full extent. Yeah, but that's like that wasn't your profession. Yeah, that's not how you no, paid your true. mortgage. Yeah, but also that would make it not fun if you're like constantly every morning waking up trying to get a book booking done. That no, night it's booked. And like you have you. People yeah, there's other you. people to do that. What about porn director? Oh. I, I would get bored of that too, though. Yeah. Like, I, I think that's a one. Like, you know, we're gonna be with Greg Lansky in yeah. in, in the uh, when we're in LA. It's like if I do that once, I'm good. Like, that's all you. I guess you need is like one yeah. epic project. If I could, yeah. if I could co-direct like Transformers the porn and have a 25. Sure, Transformers. I can see trans dash formers. formers. Yeah. Wow. Right. I like it's doing, a girl that like, if, if it has to do with film things, and this is one reason why I like what we do, I like changing formats. I would hate being on a reality show, you know, that's the same thing for 10 seasons. It would be awful. Right. I like saying, hey, this time we're going to film a really fucked up commercial. Oh, but now we're going to do an SNL style skit. But now we're going to do a vlog, you know, reality show style. I well, like, like jumping what, back. Now we're making a music video. What like, Joe did with Madison Vine back in the day. Like they did all kind. They did all the the media for like uh, Disney releases mm -hmm. and all kinds of shit. Yeah. But then they did short form. They did digital. I wonder content. if Joe knows Dave Days. That he does. Dave Days. Yeah, he's 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 kind of fell off a little bit. I, I saw know. him on Instagram. I know, but he used bit. to he used to be he was freaking crushing it. He was huge. Fucking fire. He was like the first but, dude out of YouTube that got offered a, a massive Disney contract just from being on YouTube. First of all, let's pause the conversation. <clears throat> this is the second time I've heard you use fire in less than 24 hours, and I would appreciate it if you not use it. Would you prefer fire? lit? What do you mean oh, fire? Oh, that's fire. He that's was on fire? fire? No, you'd no say, I didn't say fire. that's. I didn't say that's fire. I would never say that. You did. You he said was on fire. Night. I did. Yeah. You and said technically, it last let's fire. not. When you Are put, you sure? You did. You if said you it. use the emoji, that means lit. That's yeah. not fire. Oh, I don't like okay. saying lit. Yeah. You don't like lit? Mm -mm. Okay. Mm -mm. I, lit's what no. people say. Right? I don't want to use the young people speak. Again, back to don't the live it. action like porn it. movie that I want to direct. Yeah. 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 Yes, like, because think about all the Die Hard, right? It's so ripe for parody. Well, I again, I love the idea of it making it like an epic action sequence mm -hmm. throughout the movie but then there's four hardcore porn scenes yeah. I, I yeah. think it would it's never yeah. been done For 10 before, minutes but you shoot yeah. lens flares on like the cock and ball you're really going for rich it. rich you paying attention rich rich, like this. rich? Yeah, yeah you got this? this you got this he's got it okay. he's he was talking about sliders today too so i know like you know uh, sliders would, yeah like a slider Pork for the style. camera I, like imagine i thought you're no about one's hamburgers. done that <laughs> like no one's done a good tracking shot of a sex scene no, no one's had a steady cam during a sex scene. No, Do it's, a full it's only 360. like HD's cool, and it's yeah. like you shot it on a tripod. Exactly, That's fucking it's boring. boring. Dude. It's boring. You, you Autofocus and yeah. track, and then like maybe even work some VFX. Maybe in there. we mm. should reshoot VFX. We, I like that. Yeah. We should like make our out. own version of Boogie Nights, and but it's it's all about the production aspect of the mm. porn and not about the porn itself. That that would be funny. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we do need to talk about what our next movie is going to be because we've gotten close to a script and then threw them all away. Well. Yeah. I mean, there's probably a reason for that. Trans Frank. Tra <laughs> <laughs> trans, <laughs> trans Frank. Definitely oh, not doing Definitely that. Not. I mean, if we want a lot of attention. I think janitors. I think yeah. that's a that's I a love good janitors. One. We just need to go back through yeah. and uh, pick through that. Maybe that's something we do this weekend. Sure. Why not? Yeah. yeah, I love it. 
I mean, if we shot that one grill, like we should have done range 15, but we, it was a learning experience. But yeah. I truly believe that if we... The next one is going to be so much more fun because we are so much better at this now. Mm. Well, that, that and you just pick at least six scenes that will carry through location based of the movie. And then you allocate said production days for those scenes. So you shoot out, let's say, one fifth of the movie in a week. But then you get all that epic content and it from that one place and then you just move on instead of shooting yeah. like in los angeles where you're at a sound no. studio and you're no, like we want to do hammer this. Yeah. out 19 scenes in, in one it's no, fuck too that. nobody can deliver like they should nobody's nobody's getting into it well, shoot it like too, a youtube video you yeah. know what i'm saying like if you did coming out as a conservative and you just made that 60 minutes long with a bunch of crazy shit 90 90 minutes wow or 60's 90 minutes 60 is a little short a little short yeah. i mean even at 90 people were saying they wish their stuff was longer Wow. Interesting. Yeah, that's that is just, interesting. But 90 is the cap. You There's want, right. for a, for an yeah. indie film, you want to keep it right at 90. Because right. remember, at the end of Range 15, the Derek Wydas scene, we shot that yes. just on a 5D, and yeah. you couldn't even tell the difference. No, you can't. That's, I don't get it. Sometimes With everything, less is more. Everything we have, we have it in, in that box. Everything in that box right there can shoot a movie. We need to. Yeah. Jared, that box is empty. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All you need is your mind. All you need is a little love. Come on, we have down everything we need. Straight Dave, right shirtless there. wrestling. Oh, yeah, camp. Yeah, yeah. Dave's Come on down to wrestling. Straight Dave. Have you been read in on Straight Dave yet? Yeah. Um, it's I'm me, get- Dave. I'm Straight Dave. Well, yeah. Oh, Jesus. Dave and I run a <laughs> shirtless me. Re- wrestling camp. Yeah. Okay. All male shirtless. Can you wrestling. wear All singlets male. or is it Oh, just yeah, shirtless? absolutely. Anything's, anything's fine at Straight Dave. It's Straight Dave and Randy are the proprietors of this place. You should do that with. Um, like an MMA fighter. Yeah, who could I who could I get? We could get a lot of them. Yeah. I, I mean, start Tim Kennedy him. doesn't even know what a shirt is. He's always he, shirtless. I just got off the phone thank with God. him. Thank God. Yeah, that's all I got to say is thank God. Hey, thank God an, that guy doesn't know what a shirt is. He said you know what he I'm did saying? the worst cardio ever today. And he said he was leaking from places that you weren't supposed to leak from. I don't know what that means. But... <laughs> you know, you know, Tim, you know, the way he was telling me I was so enthralled in the conversation. I was like, wow, wow, leaking. This yeah. is crazy. Um, yeah. So he's doing Whatever well. happened to Jim Kennedy? Uh, we need. I'm, that, that's what my hair's grown for. Oh, I see. You know? Jim Kennedy. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Jim yeah. Kennedy is Tim's older Tim's brother. Older mm-hmm. brother. Older brother. Yeah. He's got Jim a mullet, uh, not in shape. Yeah, yeah but he's. So that's way... why Jared's been out of shape for all this time. He's been prepping for the role. I like that. Well, that's what Did he tells you people. Like, ah, oh, you're kind of. You don't work out like prepping not for a role. my shirtless prepping photo this morning. Did that's you guys see that? You. That, that was, was from fucking few, 10 years 15 ago. years no, ago. No, it wasn't. That was this morning. I'd shaved. Yeah. I just got done working out. Yeah. I, you look better now because you actually have some muscle up there. You just look a like a skinny kid. A lot of people kid. say that. They say, you know, it took a few years for you to not look weird. <laughs> is that your family? No, because your mom known has me never looked time. weird to me. She is. Hey, she, I spent a lot of time with her when she was in town a couple weeks ago. Of course, course really. he did. Yeah. 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 Did he invite his parents out and then leave town like he normally does? No, I no. didn't. I hung out with him no. the whole time. Did you really? they, they Good showed job. up. Good job. They showed up, walked through the door, and he was just sitting there. I'm like, your parents are in town? He's like, oh, yeah. Yeah. He didn't oh, even yeah. respond when they walked in the fucking door. No. Super what? weird. Hmm. Sometimes. This has been going on. I've known him since 2006. It's been going on that whole time. It's never been different. Do you feel emotion? In yeah. what way? Yeah, I mean, there's like, yeah, if there's good food, there's excitement. <laughs> <laughs> what? What about? <clears throat> like, do you ever look at something or a person and go, man, that makes me feel good? Like, yeah, I like them. Like compassion, empathy, I love. Love. Them. love. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. what, who do you love? Yeah. Like, what do you love? Uh, you know, everybody at this table is pretty, you know, median on that. On I like list. how we took priority over your children. <laughs> you know you have children. I didn't know that they were part of the category. They are. They are. <laughs> They're it's love. a love. I really love, love is a feeling so and emotion. So you're saying you're supposed to love Typically your children. Typically extended to your children first. Weird. I yeah. love my children a lot more now. Yeah, because they're older, you can interact with them. Yeah. 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 When they're they small, like, say super stuff hard. like that. I get that, though. That Babies original. don't know shit. They don't. Babies are useless. I mean, they're just there until they can yeah. talk. Anybody that doesn't have kids, though, I recommend waiting until your 30s. I mean, I think yeah. I think looking back on that, I, that was a horrible idea. Right. I mean, yeah, you don't really know how to parent at 22. No, no. you I'm shouldn't sure there's be. some you good really parents at 22, be. not no, taking it away from You don't from even them, know how to be a person at 22, I don't think. No. Your, no. your brain doesn't develop no. until you're 24. No, I was a, mo- as a male. Like, I was a moron at 22. I was yeah. doing stupid shit all the time. We still I mean, are kind I was of a, morons. I, yeah, I sure, think about, like, like that things bad. that I, like, like, three weeks ago, I feel smarter now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's things I think about that happened three weeks ago that I was angry or mad about. I'm like, no, that was dumb. 
What? Like what? I mean, I don't know right now. I just have thought before, like when I'm in the shower, that there was something three weeks prior that I was right. dumber then than I am now. That's where he Do does most get of his thinking. Frustrated where you think about things and or people, and you're like, man, that really pissed me off. Do you ever have that thought? What do you mean? That what I did or what they did? Yeah, I pissed Jared off like two weeks ago. It was good. Yeah, yeah. Do you do you ever have a thought while you're showering? Or, sorry. While you're doing something that you regularly do, like eat, <laughs> oh and you're like, man, that guy really pissed me off. Oh, yeah. Do you really? Oh, yeah. Wow. I think. And how do you process that? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I envision putting them into a trebuchet and firing mm-hmm. them into a brick wall. Speaking of trebuchets, that new uh, <laughs> Sparta wow. video, holy wow. shit, it's so good. You don't it's... realize how ridiculous we are until it's animated. Yeah. So we yes. animated... Uh, the Spartan rant that we went on, what, probably six months ago? A few months ago. War yeah, of it's Pleasure. Oh. And it's War of Pleasure. Oh, and man. It's still it undecided aggressive. if it can see the light of day, but it is it's a it's drinking, something. It's a drinking bros piece, oh, for it's sure. Definitely. They need it. Black Rifle. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they need it. This will be something that lives for a long time. I believe there was a lot of I swords mean, were actually dildos, we, butt blood. Yes. There was yeah, a lot of that Yeah, but we made this for everybody out there that has, has a Spartan tattoo. Mm-hmm. It just and I'm sure there's quite a few Spartan tattoos there. in it's a this tribute. office. It's a tribute to anybody it out is. there that celebrates, you know, Spartanism. Yeah, it's very interesting that we, uh, as a warrior culture, still kind of idolize them because they. I don't understand that they banged a lot of like dudes and kids and shit, right? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I think it comes from Gates of Fire was required reading when I went yeah. through the course, and then when 300 came out, it just kind of yeah. blew that. What was that? 2005. Yeah, but I don't how know many... roughly. How many like wars did Sparta win? How long did Sparta exist? I don't even know that. That's a good question. Google I'm some shit, there. Dave. Like yeah, uh, a couple hundred years. Uh, I I've not because I mean I, I've not gone down at, at this point. Isn't Sparta. America? Isn't America kind of like you know we've been kicking some ass and some wars for a long time? Yeah, not really. No? Like that's that's no? not no. Two hundred really, years isn't enough. We're, yet? We're, no, yeah. I mean two hundred years is good. It's it's good. Yeah, but Good. we did make the atom bomb. I think it's technically 243 years now. Give or take. Almost. Huh. Yeah. This summer it'll be 243. But if you look at... Um, Looks like 150 years. 100, like, 370 to 140. So that's about, yeah, 180 years. Yeah. So... Interesting. Hmm. Wow. Okay, so... That's great on Spartan. <laughs> That's great. We, we educated you on Spartan history. It's fantastic. What? I don't know. I'm asking. Know. Why Why isn't it cool to be an American fighter? Why do we got to be like wish that we were Spartan fighters? They were, you know, I was talking to him about it. Like, you know, they didn't like size helmets and stuff back then. You just got a helmet, and it's probably uncomfortable. Well, as that's shit. probably why, because the consequences were so high. Like, if you're getting into a knife fight, you're pretty much going to get cut. That sucks. Yeah. It's just like back in the Civil War. If you're and in the front much, line, dude, I mean, you're getting how shot. How much would it yeah. suck to take a backswing into the eye from your buddy, too? Yeah, we oh, talked about that. Well, the, the Spartans, we were talking about the backswing. The Spartans, stuff, like the Romans, use a phalanx mm-hmm. style. So it would be like a front line of people with shields, and then mm-hmm. behind them would be spears, behind right. them would be swords. Right. Of so, course, there's obviously some tactics yeah. involved. But I wonder I mean, who invented that stuff. That's pretty cool. I don't know, but shit. it fucking worked for a yeah, very long time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, not anymore, though. Why not? Because oh, guns. machine guns, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fa- actual phalanxes right. now, yeah. twenty millimeter F six M sixty one alpha ones. Yeah, like that's that's really technical. No thousand knows. rounds a no, second no or a knows. minute. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Say there that part go. and not the fucking nomenclature. Eight dumb thousand down. rounds. Can you minute. imagine what an A ten would have done to three hundred Spartans? The thing is, is like well, I've thought about this, but it, but it, it, it almost Bye. gets to the point of like. You, he'd run out of ammo, and you'd still have all these people down there. Like, oh well, oh, fuck. No, why? What do you mean, why? Like, because you know, uh, a ten only carries eleven hundred sixty four rounds. I, like, I think you could really fast. You could convince them that you were their god. Oh yeah, oh and absolutely. This, yeah. And this is your theory I, I on your, Afghanistan. Yeah, too, yeah right? it's, it's my theory on Afghanistan, which I think that that should have been the tactic from the beginning, which was to just come in and claim that we were God, and then. You know, watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow up that mountain. All of a sudden, they're like, "Whoa, you are God! You made the you made the mountain blow up." Yeah. And then say, "Hey, these other guys around here, these Al Qaeda, right. yeah, yeah, ISIS, whomever they are, yeah, they're not good. Afghanistan especially because yeah. they have a very low education rate." Mm-hmm. And you could have said, "Yeah, we're God now." Especially and if you used uh, like 
rail guns that mm-hmm. don't have warheads on them. Yeah. It would have been it wouldn't have been a massive explosion. That thing just would have there would have been a fucking overpressure wave and there's destruction everywhere. Correct. And they would have been like, what the Tungsten fuck? Because they've seen rods. bombs. Mm-hmm. They've seen bombs and fire. Yeah, They'd the Russians. The Russians did some work on them. You know, yeah. they, they kind of know what that is. So yeah, the hard helicopters <laughs> murdered quite a few Afghani's over the years. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. but what what I think they have seen those, but they haven't necessarily been approached in that way. No, no. you no. could convince basically entire provinces that. You know, you are. Oh yeah! If you had napalm and stuff like that, you could do it all. You could do it all. Yeah. Like we, we've got yeah. so many. Put on like a magic show. Oh right. yeah! Oh yeah! It's yeah! It's like, green oh, lasers, look at, look at things like that. Kind of reminds yeah. me of the opening scene of uh, the first Iron Man movie, actually. Right, but it, yeah. if you think about like Cortez, <laughs> right? When he, I think it was what was it Cortez that landed in South America and yeah. convinced he, the Aztecs that yep. well, they thought he was actually a god. Yep. So when he landed, they were like, well, here's the keys to the castle. Come on in, man. Mm. What do you, hey, what else do you want? Uh, I think we could have used that same exact yes, strategy in exactly. Afghanistan. And I think like, Cortez hey, guys, fucked that up, though. I think Cortez, if he had come with them as a benevolent dictator, would have, that still would be under Spanish. Well, no, no, today, no, no, no. And that's the thing is we should have thought about this smarter. He's absolutely right. Because if we would have gotten together first and said, hey, we're going to go in. We're going to build a giant blimp that's got their scripture writing and everything on it with lights and everything. And this yeah. thing is just going to pull in and they're going to be like, oh, shit, we're getting visited. Yeah. We're getting visited. Here he is. Like we could have everything that we have techno- technology yeah. wise now could have been they done. They would have launched some RPGs at that point. No, not if it's not if it's playing prayer music as it pulls in with giant freaking writing in their language it's on the side of it. Donald Trump blimp <laughs> <laughs> with a giant wig over it. Right. Well, once they start accepting it, you can start selling ad space on it too and generate right. revenue to pay for the war yeah we're about go. five and a half trillion dollars in right now yeah and we've never really, seen there's any not of a good bad. roi in war <laughs> we haven't really accomplished any well there is for northrop grumman just true just true. Not true. yeah country. if you're in yeah. the right circle yeah of course just not for us well yeah i mean for the corporates the yeah. corporate entities that are supplying the the yeah if you're making chews you know you did really well if you're what making making you know those little tra- yeah. trailers that we live oh, yeah. in, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. they, they did well. No, KBR look, dude, did well. Look at Hesco. They yeah. went Hesco. We did made great. It. Yeah. yeah, what Hesco the fuck is Hesco? A British, 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 British company. War. They they just were like, here's some metal and some canvas. Yeah. Fill it up with rocks. Fill it up with yeah, rocks. But, but you know what? That that you're pattern welcome. right there. That guy was smart. A gajillion yeah. billion dollars. He was like, hmm. How about I just patent this? Maybe we'll use it one day. We're gonna patent a big sandbag. <laughs> that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> Spill up this big sandbag. It's got a wire basket around it. You guys are good. There was something in the news recently about the Air Force paying three thousand dollars for cups of coffee or something. Have you seen that? I don't know. I mean, that's always they've always uh, something that they've overpaid for because yeah. of something else. I mean, you know, like the reason why the B two is slated as the most expensive mm-hmm. airplane ever is not because it costs that much to make it. It's because the Air Force initially ordered double what they have and they canceled the order halfway through and told the company to keep the money. That's awesome. Yeah. How is that? Like, I mean, you're business. talking like a, like a great $80 business. billion dollar contract. I feel like and there's they, a lot of parallels. They had, they had, they had like 25 delivered and they were like, ah, yeah, we're good on that. I mean, we're how many keep, B2s keep do you rest. need really? I know. Probably you really don't more. Need but the answer is for more. <laughs> yeah. Like you can never yeah, have too much the freedom. Fact that that's the, eh, just keep the money. We don't even want to fight over That'd be a good tagline for, for fucking uh, keep the any freedom. of these companies. Yeah. <laughs> you can never have enough freedom. That's like, that's, <laughs> it's true. That's like showing, whoever complained when you showed up to a fucking party and they're like, dude, you brought way too much booze, man. Yeah. Said no one ever. That's Said true. no one ever. I think it would be a new public transportation strategy where you just issue people B2s yeah. to drive around. Right. I mean, like, that's you can you get go. you can get two people from one place to another for about, you know, two, three to two. Driving them down dollars. the interstate. Yeah. Just, we, you know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, there was a movie. What it was the show that you told me to watch. Put hydraulics on uh, it. <laughs> the last man. The, on Earth, yeah. yeah last minute, he drives a B two in the beginning the of season bomber, two. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's that's well forte. <laughs> pulls right? it in, yeah, yeah. pulls funny. it into a fucking grocery store. <laughs> it's so funny. What if we tried? So funny. We should make a commercial for the first Halo Hey Ho public transportation system. Yeah, like you, you fine. have to buy your own rig, but we'll, we'll take you up. Dude, you but jump check out. that out. You're so right. Can you imagine that? And they need to set this up. Is if you put fucking DZs in all the large cities mm-hmm. and in yeah. municipal city, whatever. You could actually just jump in. So instead of going to Houston and worrying about going to fucking sitting on Alaska Airlines, 
all I got to do is jump in a puddle jumper. Yep. It's a flight over with a bunch of crew, and I jump out, hit the DZ, and call it a day. And if you Fuck hate, it. How far I'll jump out you... with a rucksack and Yahtzee. Yeah. Actually, we should try that. Once I we like get that. our licenses, awesome. yeah. let's take an a overnight trip to Houston where we just jump into their local d- drop zone with our bag. Yeah, it's fucking awesome. I bet it'd be cheaper, too. I wonder uh, I like that. we like, can go to South uh, Phoenix and get raided on jumping uh, canisters, or what do they call them? The, uh, yeah, the... Tethered uh, bundles, bundles. Because think, well, there's no takeoff landing. There's none the of that bullshit. What's the called? Jump in the fucking. I can't think of it right now. I don't know the name. Because you just thought, if you're in San Antonio, where we are, you could Bundles. fly up, jump out in Austin if you want. Maybe three or four people have the plane jump, and then you go up maybe DFW, and then we jump out, and then or drive. You can pretty much just fly a ring route, right? Yeah. And then and jumpers exit where they want to yeah. go. And they just be and fucking there you awesome. Go. Green light. And if it was uh, if you were jumping hey ho, that would be yeah. fun. If you were jumping hey you can travel pretty far in the air on your own. If you yeah, if you're, you're doing, doing hey you could do national like ring routes at yeah. 30,000, just yeah. dumping people Like, how off. far can you... I know it depends, but how far... Well, is there any record of how far someone's traveled hey Like, well, after the jump? Well, no. Dave, look up uh, the most distance traveled with the wingsuit, because if you're talking wingsuits, fuck, you've yeah, got some range now, on that. I believe that. it's 40 miles. If you're... If on you're, on hey Yeah. Doesn't Richard have... One of those records? I don't think well, I don't know. Rich does. I know Andy does. I'm sure he knows somebody that Him does. Him and Andy are trying to break another world record. Aren't they? Oh, it's, it is Andy, isn't it? They're Andy Stump did the 17,500 yeah. miles. Wait, wait. What? What? No, 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 Eighteen point two five. Wow. Eighteen point two five miles. Okay, not as far as I and thought. And that's Andy. That's still decent. That has that one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jeez, yeah. really. Andy, look at that. Yeah. But that's but dope because you, you can, can jump out of Austin and, and, and land in like New Braunfels or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. You can go way further under canopy. I think, it's, I think it's around forty miles. Okay. So you just shit. I just had the two people high. I could have asked in town this weekend. <laughs> really? They were, yeah. They were from the recce team. Matt's oh. Matt's recce team. Oh. Nice. <laughs> How come? That, why doesn't that exist? Why isn't there charter planes that you can jump on, like on a Tuesday at eight, and you get to jump out over said city? Like, here's because the route. I think it's because of airspace. Because you have to jump through uh, a bunch of different classes of airspace. Yeah. How would you deconflict if you were hey ho traveling through a city? Yeah. You probably get fucking wiped out. No. Put the fucking clear like a mile left and right. I mean, you have to create some an air corridor, but you're creating an air corridor from surface to. Wherever you're exiting, it would be the same as 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 you would anywhere because you're flying to the DZ and flying over the DZ, mm-hmm. which is obviously it's cleared airspace for jumping. So you just have yeah, to yeah. That's what I'm your, saying. If you're going to another DZ, route. you're fine. Yeah, but yeah. if you're just jumping into a city, you're not. No, because you're said, going it has through to be a different a DZ class, and the those, airspace yeah. is cleared over yeah. the DZ, so you're good. You just put yeah. it on like the outskirts yeah. of the town. The only thing is, is I don't know if the U.S. Parachute Association has. A civilian qualification for equipment. Hmm. I don't. I've know. never yeah. seen a civilian jump equipment. Well, you could just uh, heavy drop the equipment. Then, yeah. fuck it. Why not? Your carry on. Yeah, but you're and going to Austin for two days to get drunk. You need a couple, a pair of fucking underwear. Yeah, but and, I mean, uh, it's nothing to stra- to strap it on your thighs. It's just you have to have that rating to do something like that. You're overcomplicating this yeah. and I, not listen, making it fun. I am all for breaking rules. And you know where my mind goes okay. is. Uh, <laughs> Because it's public transportation, subsidizing it through putting company logos on the canopies. Right. Right. That would be fucking great. Yeah. Because, yeah, this this jump is sponsored by Geico. <laughs> and it was free because yeah. I'm rocking their parachute. And then yeah. they take photos of... The, what, I, what I would do is I would sponsor it by Black Rifle Coffee. What's uh, that? Black Rifle Coffee is a premium roast-to-order coffee company. Really? Yeah. Uh, it's the finest, freshest coffee in the United States. Yes, it is. We have built the I finest right coffee now. subscription that's absolutely available true, it is and so one it's the freshest coffee you're going to drink because it's roasted and then shipped out in a condensed time frame better than any other coffee company in the united states plus yeah. you get discounts with our partnered retailers so friends mm-hmm. of ours that we know we're very familiar with most of these companies we endorse them because we know them they're on our endorsement list you have your private group on facebook that you can join you have your own customer service Seen team. Seen a lot of activity in that group lately. There was a lot of chatter this morning because a new product dropped this morning and everybody well, was like, ooh, I'm getting it first. I, I think a lot of people need to know this too is we release all of our new products. And when yep. I say all, 
90 plus percent of our new products always go to the club first. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the big benefits is you get access to these. So for you instance, mean like, like designs like Power Llama? Yeah. Like <laughs> designs like right Power now. Llama <laughs> or designs like our new SAS Desert Rat Jeep. Yeah. Those things are released to the coffee club first. You'll we, D-rat. we are curating content specifically yeah. for the coffee club, like the coffee club. <clears throat> I can say this with zero trepidation. This is the fucking coolest thing we've ever built. Does Absolutely. it have? It is the fucking coolest thing we've ever built. Is there anything uh, with veterans or the military or anything? Well, yes. Uh, we support, obviously, a ton of veteran causes. So last year, we just did the calculation on last, uh, last year. Our total donation list to include the coffees that we've given away is up to about $700,000 at this oh, point. Wow. wow. Big boy. Big boy, big boy pants number, man. So that's uh, basically all of our salaries from this company combined, plus some. In this yeah. entire room. Uh, in this entire yeah. room. So <laughs> uh, that's uh, that's one of our a big source of pride for us. We support a ton of veteran causes. Uh, it's roasted either in Salt Lake City or Nashville, Tennessee. It's freaking awesome. All right. Mm, mm. Well, that's what I got. Thank I you. like it. It's I wonderful. Like it. Oh, you're just going to, you got to go. I, you know what? Speaking of coffee and selling coffee, I got to go sell coffee right now. There's a good meeting He's coming gonna up. going to sell some coffee. Where'd Baker run off to? We'd throw him in that yeah, seat. Sell that big fat Yeah, when you see him when you here. go out there, I know he's sweating a lot right now. I'm in a like, shit talking started. mood, so I want to talk yeah, shit about Baker. Yeah. Fuck him. Do we do that typically to talk shit about Baker? We talk a lot of shit to each other. Oh, yeah. That's right. No, there's Quite certain often. people but, that can handle it and certain people that can't. Well, like who? <laughs> <laughs> Ross Patterson? <laughs> I want to talk. You know he's going to be here for the shirtless show. Yeah, the he's super amped about the shirtless show. show. And he's still got the blonde Prefontaine hair, too. So Does he have a be... mustache still? I haven't I, seen him I in a while. I think he said no. I was kind of disappointed about that. I like Ross with a mustache. I he think pulls he, it off very well. I, like when that time that he had to get the perm after the Super Bowl, that's because of a bet we made. Ross looks better as a character than he does as an actual human. Yes. And I mean yeah, that in a that very complimentary true. way. But when he has like the long hair, the yeah. mustache, and like his jump boots, he looks I, like a fucking idiot, but in a good way. That's his look, yeah, I think. I like yeah. it. That's his I best like look. I like his mustache it and long hair. Yeah. Um, I like it. He was I, strong. Like in Your Pussy Makes Me Whistle, uh, available on iTunes and YouTube. What? Uh, <laughs> By the it, uh, way, if you are an avid listener of the show uh, and you don't really roll over to the Facebooks or YouTubes or anything, we did uh, a like almost 10 to 12 minute segment on making the Pussy Whistle song. Yeah, it's really fun. And a lot of people said, loved it. Like we got good views on it. Good feedback. Everybody was like, please do more of this. I well, mean, I really enjoyed doing that. Thanks, Ridge. was good at it. It's because I think people actually get to see... An, uh, Ridge is over there earning his keep, by the way. Yeah. You know, fastest from no name to a real name that we've ever had. Ridge? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that is true. Yeah. And yeah. we've been really nice to him lately. Yeah. But, but the whistle song, I, I enjoyed that because you actually get to see how much we were unprepared for the actual studio time. <laughs> there was like 60% of that. I and then did like, not feel good that day at all. And you guys talked a lot on the show about how crazy the producer was. Yeah. And then you got to see You him. actually get to see like, him. He's a character, apparently. Super, super character. But he was talented at his job, yeah. and I was happy he was there. But that, I would much rather have somebody like that. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, I, that's we got to go back story, to him right? again yeah. no, because even yeah. then, as a producer, he was awesome. Yeah, he was like he would just stop you in the middle. There was no, it was just ah, uh-uh, again. No, nope, well, it's, it's again. tough love. Yeah. The thing I hate whenever I track or do other shit is when people try like, hey, great take, Matt. You know, great take. motivation, Let's inspiration is yeah. great, but like maybe this, just shut the fuck up and tell me yeah. you M- fucked the note up. Do, do it, it more better. Miss, do it again. Miss Roger me, that. Miss me with all that preamble bullshit. Don't need you it. Hear, you it's, hear that, Rich? Listen up right now because this is how you need to direct when you're filming for us. Yeah. If it doesn't work, you say stop. Hey, it's Do it again. Up. Send it again. Do it again. I liked how the producer oh. looked at me and goes, well, are you doing a bass track for this song? I'm like, oh, I totally forgot we have to play bass <laughs> in a music song, yeah. in the songs of music. The songs of music. We're doing a new one, actually, right now. I'm the Don't Touch My Guns. I'm mm-hmm. um, going to retract yeah, that with my dad. Why are we tracking your vocals for there? I'm ready. Oh. I'm ready. You say when, you know? The, the song is, is created and done. It is super cash style. We got some... You uh, rewrote some of the verses, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, the, the first one was a good take, but we didn't really mean to set out to do it we were just hanging out in yeah. salt lake city and tracking there's one a day. lot of ideas though that we've done that i think that in the next few months we need to do revisit to some things that could have been gold you know that we got a good scratch down i just want a gun 
Yeah, oh. that I would love to do. Jared is trying to convince me to retrack uh, Army Seal Ranger Ranger. versus Ranger. I Navy think Seal. I think we redo the beat more massive, more full. I think uh, you uh, wrap uh. it now because you'll rap Man, it I was... way better <laughs> now. <laughs> Not that I'm a good rapper, but going back and listening to the first. Did time you go I back rap? and listen to Sit it? Sit with yeah, the yeah. rap when I bring my flow. <laughs> the I'm like, whoa. Okay, dude, you now suck. imagine redoing that as Navy Seal Ranger. You know, remastered. Now, yeah. like I think people would generally love it. Would you do both parts again, or would you have an actual? Seal? No, 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 he definitely. I does like both doing both parts. parts. Yeah. It's so much easier just to work with yourself. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is, and, and, and he can, knows it. Yeah, that's why I jack off on Dave. Yeah. What? Wait, what? You can't say. Yeah, you can say. I can yeah, you say can, that. Yeah. It's, it's our he show. signed the clause. Are you curious? Dave's like, not the, a person. The podcast me. listeners, like, what kind of music would you guys want us to do? Because we have so much, so many ideas, and all we need is guidance as far as like write a song about this. And we'll fucking track. I mean, it they today. definitely you know keep asking for an album. Yeah, we They're should saying, do the album. Do well, the album. You the and album. I came up with my favorite song ever that I wanted want to do, which was the Operator Ballad. Yeah, which is there's two takes on this. Fuck it, we'll say in the yeah, show. Yeah, I don't care. I mean, no one, one of them was called Dry Hole, so it was essentially yeah. how I think we're both s- of these need to happen. By Fuck the way. yeah, yeah. Dry Hole is a very somber, depressing Sing. ballad. Ballad, Plus, right. there's so much, like, there's so many puns you can That do. we were dry so excited. You yeah. know, it's the night that you're so fired up that you're in the mood, you're well-rested, you've got extra ammo, you've Overseas, got an extra yeah. AT4, you know, you're ready to go. And well, you yeah, get the, to the, the target. pre-mission brief is like, hey, situation, there's hundreds, there's of, hundreds of fucking like, enemy combatants. We're you guys get to kill oh, everybody. Oh, man, it's going to be a party with war tonight. Because no one, there's very few people that understand the disappointment oh, that yeah. you face when your buddy gets to shoot somebody and you don't y- yes. that is that it's is a, a real that's a real feeling no, for real it's a like going of, it's like going another out to infomercial a, it is <laughs> yeah it's like going out to a bar and your buddy hooks up and you don't you're like like fuck. you're happy for him but then the chick's super hot yeah. and you like went home and had to like Fucking. jack off half sober <laughs> or you had to like you spent a hundred dollars at the bar and you didn't really get drunk yeah, yeah that's yeah yeah, yeah. we Top used to times. have we used to have uh all right, so wait. Your okay. Second one. So we got the we got the somber ballad. Yeah, about one. hitting a dry hole and um, not being able to shoot anybody on target that night. Yeah. And the second one was what was it? It's the children. It's a, it's almost like a children's lullaby, but oh yeah, it's yeah. like a children's lullaby about murdering like ISIS or a really bad terrorist. It's 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 the like he's task, the Grinch. The ballad of the task force. Yeah. So it's like the ballad of the Green Berets, mm. but the ta- the ballad of the task force. And, yeah. you, and you wrote a real tasty, super piano violent. Lick on that. Yeah, like it's very violent, but it's about here comes the terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, we should get Evan to like do actual voice tracks on the lullabies, or not the bedtime stories that he reads to his kids. Not reads. Oh. I'm sorry, the ones that he just makes up. Yeah, because they're <laughs> fucking crazy, man. Yeah, it's like they're a, really funny. There's one really funny one where. What if uh, we just called it that? A children's book, not for children. Yeah, that's really funny. Too. Right? There's, there's yeah. one really funny one where. He's telling it to his daughter. I think she was three at the time. And there's a prince and a princess, but the prince is a pussy. So the princess goes out and kills a deer and then like, uh, court, like <laughs> carves it up and cooks it for him. And the prince is still yeah. back at home. And the beta little prince. Yeah. yeah. It's so funny. It's oh good. Oh, my God. I just want to do more music, man. Yeah. We got to get that studio up and humming. I, I mean, it's, it, there's it, a lot of money in there. There's a lot of money in there. That is yours. It's the that best. It's the best of the best. Jared literally gifted me his whole entire like ten year span of purchasing recording equipment and put it up in my house. Why don't we spend some time, you know, decorating that studio? Please, like, you're like the you're the guy. We'll wrap some walls in there. We'll make the, we'll Done. set the mood. We're Done. Get some lights. Yeah, some party lights in there. Some Edison. Build bulbs. a vocal booth. Yes, set we need a vocal mood. booth, and I have a guy to do it for us. Actually, really, I mean yes. that's that's something that we because all we definitely... need is a box like this. I and mean, then we might need to booth. move some of the safes. Uh, Liberty Safes. Thanks yeah. again, Liberty Safe. Yeah. They, they have amazing products. We've done two giveaways to our one to the coffee club, right? And one to a non club. Which is fucking brutal because they're like three to four thousand dollar giveaway safe. That yeah. is a huge win. Yeah. The guy here in San Antonio won it, which was he's hilarious because like he Mar- local. He's a Marine reservist, right? Mm-hmm. Now I think he was active duty, now he's a reservist. I, I think they gave away a presidential, like the two that I have, and oh, those shit, are really? fucking beast mode. Yeah, that's the, like forty five hundred bucks, I think. Yeah. It? And they I have those like little uh 
dehumidifiers in there and shit really? and lights and yeah it's fucking i don't have a safe sweet. but i don't have anywhere to put a safe so yeah you i mean well i have most all your guns in my safe so. yeah 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 i just want well to i mean if you read the washington post article do, do, about do, 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 me my guns are littered across my house do, 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 apparently do, do. Yeah, yeah you did that on purpose to troll his ass no i did and i dressed like an <laughs> asshole i had ranger panties and cowboy boots on when he showed up yeah these people don't understand that we are fucking with them. i'm a professional <laughs> shit talker like your entire career has been based on not, parody not glorifying all of it but Parroting your own and talking life. shit and making fun like of my how, own self that I'm like, a ridiculous fuck that yeah. buys 17 ARs instead of like going on a trip to the Bahamas. But or he something. tried to write that article like it was all you're all you you take pride in that bullshit, which you know like, I do cares? because I carried a gun as my job yeah, for yeah. 10 years. Yeah. So why yeah, wouldn't it's, I? It's have... not it's not your image though that you're taking pride in. It's just like oh I like this so I'm gonna do it. But I, uh, I also recognize. I, I have to say I'm gonna brag because I just you know Baker finally got me into the tweeters. The uh, tweeters? Yeah. Are you I'm, tweeting? I'm very proud of my tweet today. Okay. Uh, I will read it to you, La- right. ladies. If you're in a fight with your man, just send nudes. It immediately diffuses straight men. We are not capable of arguing with a naked woman. That's that's that's. <laughs> it's got a lot of it's got a lot of love. That doesn't work on me. It does for me. Why I is just it a naked up. dude? You need to yeah. Oh, okay. It is yeah. Because that would be weird enough. That it's like, like if you're in a fight, send a photo of yourself pounding another dude to your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> that would that would work on me. Actually. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'll be like, all right, cool, thanks. Mm, oh, solid, you'd be solid cool. move. Yeah. Oh, it's like I mean, that's a pretty okay. that's a pretty ballsy move. It's like you know, you almost are like touche. Yeah, I was being an asshole. To me, the more set like that if, is true. I if, wish it would work the other way back. Like if if yeah. your wife's mad, you're at you, slipping. You just send her a dong photo and be like, we could keep yelling at each other. You could stick this in your mouth. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. That, I don't think that would go over too well. Probably because not. they. I don't know what they don't. They don't. I don't know. Women don't like things that make them happy what 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 do you mean by that <laughs> i mean that's even, a very broad statement even when they have everything that they want they would find a fucking reason to get pissed off that might just be the people you pick nah. yeah. is it yes <laughs> it is you're so terrible at it <laughs> yeah, <whatever. laughs> but we've all got our faults right i mean oh yeah. come on i I, I have no grounds to talk about my no. my history in Same. women picking and tell my wife i mean geez louise yeah i'm an idiot oh sure. i 100 percent agree with you and i'm an idiot as yeah. well worse than you i made some mm, well yeah you've made some yeah. transgressions but i i like i just don't know if i can be happy with a normal woman that is that is true i, don't, I mean I, I honestly have been doing a lot of self-reflection lately yeah yeah and i'm the happiest I've been is in the midst of absolute chaos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which that's is, a hard one, right? That's fucked. I don't know what to do. He likes it too. I love chaos. He likes yeah. the chaos. Yeah, no, I do. Yeah, because I, I, I'm self-destructive in that sense. Where mm-hmm. like I, I inherently... You know what, though? I think it's because... I think that here's the key that I just found. Ding. I think because the chaos keeps you from getting attached. Uh, I don't know about that. I, I about get that. I get more attached. Me too. The more the chaos. To the chaos, not to who's creating it. That that's been me historically. It's I don't like know. maybe we hate each other. Let's get engaged because that will <laughs> fix it. <laughs> and then fast forward three months, I'm like, bro, I made a real bad decision. That I just is, think life. Is, you do. You do. You have gone in extremes. Oh, like, oh I'm yeah. very like, extreme. I remember. Yeah, you're right. It I was, pretend it was, really well put she together. She is but. moving out today, and then I saw you three days later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This was this was years ago. This mm. was years yeah, ago. Yeah. This is yeah. Long, this is this is long time ago. Have, in the galaxy have, far, far have away. Have already been. You know. Yeah, sorted. It yep. doesn't matter. I got no man. Something that I learned a long time ago. I I carry no hate or ill warrant for anybody that I've been with. Actually, if anything, it sounds either. like a Pinterest meme, but like yeah. it bettered myself because I had a better understanding of who I am and the type of person that I had to be with mm-hmm. to actually function as a somewhat reasonable adult. Yeah, but you I know? think we're generally faster at realizing when it's like. Hey, we shouldn't do this, and they like cling for a little while. I do Ray then, Dalio, higher, slow, fire, fast. Yes, yeah, you, you do. 
That's a smart yeah. move. But the problem is if you're not with somebody that has that like emotional intelligence and cognitive function that allows them to go, maybe I am miserable too. Let's just walk away and yeah. fist pump. It, it, that tends not to happen in relationships. Yeah. Usually it's one person like, hey, solid run. Let's move on. The other person's like, I'll burn the fucking house down. Yeah, and burn the then, fucking house but down. But then they're like, oh, also shit. the first person that you hear on the street. They're like, yeah, she's just been talking about how miserable she was forever with you. It's okay. Okay, then why are you mad? That yeah, we you should be yeah, super exactly. stoked you should be that like, you didn't hey, tolerate that my That was a anymore. good idea. Hey, you had. I'm glad you did it because I wouldn't do it. That's seriously like, like every girl I date. Yes. Right after we break up. Oh, and, I'm so and miserable it's me, with it's, you. Wait, it's what? Me, it's me like saying for months like, hey, this is just not working. And then then it comes yeah. like as soon as we break up, they're like, oh, I'm so happy. It's great to get dead weight and toxic people out yeah, of your like, life. What? Like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I've never understood <laughs> that <laughs> psychology where, yeah, it's like if you were that bad, why would you carry on years and years later and like discredit or Ugh. try to... There's you know, no logic in this. It, There's so no logic. It's like in this. if that person was that bad, I would never want to think about them ever again. Mm, you and I wouldn't want to fucking I would like block shit. Bye, Felicia. Moving on with my life. I don't even want to fucking look at your face. Kind it's of just thing, insecurity you know? when somebody gets rejected like that. And True. you shouldn't feel rejected. It's just an observation like, hey, we're not good together. Let's just not do this. But they feel rejection and they think, oh, fuck him. Have you ever had that? This line dropped you. No guy's ever broken up with me. I've broken up with all the guys I've been with. Yeah. And you're like, is that like an accolade yeah, that you're yeah. proud yeah. about? Like, I the mean, the that is definitely me. That's like saying <laughs> <laughs> I have not been broken up with since I was 17. Yeah, and that was, that was it was because show, of this fucking asshole right there. You were probably being an asshole. No, I wasn't. Oh, yeah. He Dude, took at, her to Canada. At what? 17, you weren't being an asshole. I was, that was not. Your life. All right, yeah, I was, I was. I mean, yeah, whatever. She's a douche. No, she's not. She's actually lovely. <laughs> she's I, pregnant. I, I've had one married. relationship that I, I did that where I ended up breaking up with her out of the strict, like me dwelling on how bad of a shit boyfriend I was. Like I was just cheating all the time. And this is no one I was engaged to, but an absolute sweetheart. Um, and she's married and happy now. And I'm like, still follow her shit. She talks to my mom. Wonderful, wonderful person. It yeah. was just like, she was super normal and well put together. And I'm a crazy motherfucker that has to be redlining all the time yeah. in something. Or I'm bored yeah. and I fucking, like, I'll create drama in my own life if I'm bored, you know? Like, oh, man, this chick loves me and wants to get married and have a kid. I should go well, fucking to the bar like, at 3 in the morning and try a threesome. Maybe yeah. that's Jesus. what, maybe that's what that real PTSD part. is, though, is when there's oh, no yeah, drama. Yeah, no, that's a you're kind of like, what? 100%. You're like that's looking around. Because like, even when, like, like, I'm not getting any texts from anybody. It's like, wait, is something wrong right now? Like, what's going on? Yeah. They, are they mad at me right now? I because think there's... Like, wait, wait, wait. I think yeah. that, Nothing's on fire. Right. I think PTSD for the modern guy goes one of two ways. One, it's the person who gets in their own feelings and gets depressed and all that bullshit. And then there's the person whose brain has been bathed in adrenaline for so long that the normalcy of life is just too much. Like, you can't handle that shit. I need the chaos. And I think that's Oh, no, all of us, 100%. Actually. 100 yeah. percent i i remember in back in the past i was actually kind of with that person like we have like a nice dinner with friends and everybody's like talking about their high school stories and i just like fucking grab a spoon bend it throw it and whip a drink off the table i'm like i'm out fuckers yeah. like crazy shit because i was like well yeah, you know i, I noticed hang. like too first wife like once i like like i started because i went from uh, on an active team to going to a, a instructor position where it went normal like I would fucking run around on her and then I'd bring it closer and closer. Ooh, I can get caught. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, ooh, ooh, this is my fun game now. Like I'm being, you know, ooh, I can. And it's like I, I kept bringing it closer and closer and closer because I wanted to have the fear of getting caught harder. Yeah, yeah. What's, what's the point of doing something if it's not, a, <laughs> if it's not risky? You know what I mean? Yeah, I think it just defines us as crazy people. Maybe. But, uh, Are you crazy? I've moved on Am a I lot crazy? from that. I think that energy with guys like us, you just have to harness that energy because yeah. that's what I found. Like making videos and creative has really taken a lot of that Music. out of my personal life. Yeah, because I can just completely dedicate myself to a project. And we, we before, live pretty silly uh, lives, too. Yeah, now yeah, I like enjoy just, the break. Like, yeah. the couch in a video game now yeah. is like, oh, yes, I needed this. Yeah. yeah. It's a real yeah, safe we, space. We have silly lives. Like, we do a lot of cool shit. Yeah, that's fun. People yeah. ask us, like, ask me what I do all the time. Like, I don't even know what to tell you. I don't either. Dude, honestly, like, it's stupid. Changes. Yeah. It's really it changes. dumb. But it's I, fun. It's fucking pick awesome. up a lot of, you know, I pick up a lot of things and rearrange furniture in this room a lot. Yeah. You, yeah. What do you like think that. of these new lights? I, here's they're what nice. I want to know. They're you nice. don't have a spotlight in your face anymore. Yeah, and nice. it looks better on camera. Yeah. It's wonderful. When you were in high school, how frequently did you rearrange a room? Every like month and a half. 
I can see that. Well, I, I mean, if, I'm, if you were, a, that's the one thing a, that's driving me nuts about my apartment right now is there's no other yeah. way to fucking move everything around. If you were a teenager yeah. today, yeah. your Instagram would be the most annoying shit of all time. <laughs> you think so? I would fucking what, hate you. Yeah. What, what, what would he? Be, what would he be posting? He would be posting like fucking quick cut videos of him rearranging his fucking room all the time. Look at all my new stuff that I did. Hey guys, check I out. Like, so my bed was over here. Now it's over here. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like, I like the change though. Yeah, it's like oh, fine. Oh, just, nice. Everybody else place. doesn't need to know about it. Yeah. Yeah. You when things get comfortable for you, you're like got to move on. Yeah. yeah. I'm Every about time. to pull everything off my walls in the apartment and wrap them. You're a shark. You're gonna wrap the walls. Yeah. In a rental apartment. Yeah. Why? You just peel it off. It's okay. better than painting. Okay, yeah. sure. What are you going to wrap it with? The uh, gray wood, this style. Oh. I want it to be cozy in there. You should do a mural. You should make it like a log cabin. I should. Yeah. I think you're right. I think that's great. Huh? Because you wouldn't be expecting that walking in there. So and I've get, got Philips yeah. Hue, so I can change the temperature yeah. of the lights, so it really brings the And it in. would be uh, a good way to troll Burt Coons on a regular basis, Oh, too. I've got a cabin, Oh, too. that's great. You're like, oh, I'll just hang out in my cabin, motherfucker. Oh, look at me, I'm no, do that. Do one wall as a like, like, log cabin, <laughs> yeah. and then put like a fucking Fake propane fireplace, fireplace yeah. in there or something, and you're just like, yeah. grilling marshmallows in my cabin yeah. in the, I like in the pearl. Yeah. That's what I want, though. So, you know, I mean, we've talked about it. I've decided... Uh, I'm going to build a Civil War fort. Where? You, Here you, in Texas? You can yeah. build one at my place in the back. Uh, can, I, can I have the front right portion of the property? Sure. Okay. There's what's, a lot of trees what's over the, there. What's the function of the, of the fort? Well, I mean, it's going to be a dope cabin that I live in, but at oh, the same time. Oh, you're going to live there. So, yeah. Never mind. It's, when, it's all taken up. That space is <laughs> least to someone else. Listen, I'll bring my own septic tank. <laughs> That's a slit trench, not a septic <laughs> tank. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I mean, people, one day you'll be like, oh, where can we film this skit? Well, wait, JJ's got a Civil War for it. Why don't you like, make it a man cave and not some place where you live actively? Why? Because that's I want to live in my own fort. I love, I love Jared's thinking in that, where he wants to build a Civil War fort just in case we write a skit that needs yeah. a Civil yeah. War like, fort one You'll be day. like, man, this thing's cool. Oh, I have a video idea. Let's film it at the fort. That's yeah, kind of done. like hoarder. Done. That's that's hoarder mentality. Yeah, but yes. in my fort, once you come through the walls, though, there's three sets of barracks, so everybody can see the night. Wasn't this time last year? He was talking about buying a bunch of connexes and building underground connex. Yes, like stuff, right? Yeah, and yeah. like a thing like Nitro Circus, you wanted. I yeah. still, yeah, I still have that. That's it's not just a, not that's part not of the fort. A, that's <laughs> not a bad <laughs> idea. So these not are two independent fort. ideas. No, 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 no. The the Nitro Circus, like that thing, is a steel building, hundred by hundred, has a bar, concert stage. Full PA setup, ready to go. If any band is in town, you just plug in. We'll have a drum set, mic'd up, ready to go. We're good with a full bar. Just in case yeah. a band wants to come play a concert on your property. I mean, that's fair. If they're in town on a tour and they have an extra day, I mean, you just like pay them some money to come over and jam. We had a party with all that remains playing Mexican music, that, drinking that is, tequila That is in the living true. room. That was a fun day. That was a great day. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of that, R.I.P. You, Ollie, bro. you and Ollie yeah. played guitar for oh. like four hours. That was cool, man. Ollie, who passed away, the <laughs> lead guitarist of All That Remains, good dude. And uh, I I'd listen to All That Remains forever. And he's like, you want to just rock out in the fucking acoustic guitars? I'm like, this is my moment. This yeah. is my moment. And it's like he was he was putting on the delay and everything. Yeah. And it was just like, I've got a video from it. It's really cool. Speaking of uh, live music, there's a cruise coming up soon, right? Yeah, our cruise. And who's going to be on that? Danny Warsnop is going to be playing music. Well, we're going to be playing. We're going to have a piano yeah. up there, by the way. Really? So you confirm that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's part of our nice. part of our whole thing. Yeah. The cruise is filling up. I think we should make some kind of t-shirt for the cruise. Like oh, absolutely. A Sea Lakes t-shirt yeah. that we can give out to people when they get there or something. I don't know. That's great. I think if people went on the tour, we should absolutely, or cruise, we should absolutely give them a t-shirt. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll have that. Let's get a design for the Sea Lakes thing. We'll do that. Uh, also, or we too, just, I think. Or we just, if that, or we get everybody who bought um, Pork of the Sea, and we all just show up with Pork of the Sea shirt. That's, That's really true. funny. Yeah, yeah, Pork of the Sea would be really funny to wear on that one. It's a good shirt. I yeah. like that one it's a lot. Solid. Yeah. And, it's and solid. And when you wear it around like a supermarket, people are like... What the fuck? <laughs> I like the double take shirt. That's my favorite kind. Like it yeah, looks legit. Somebody looks, it looks yeah. like a real thing, and then they look again and like, wait. That's why I like that's... the power llama. They think it's oh, a llama, yeah. and then you realize it's got belt fed machine guns on it, and it says power llama. It makes no fucking sense, but it's wonderful. It's beautiful. Uh, I mean, where else can you get a llama that has two 50 cal machine guns on it? That's yeah. what I want to say. That's amazing. It's not even the site right yeah. now. So no, nowhere. It's... Nowhere. All right, Dave. We're ready for this drink, bro, of the week? Yeah. Yeah, read out his phone number real quick. <laughs> yeah, eight four five. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got this one? You want to zoom in a little bit? Uh, coming at you 
from Joe Madika. You think I said that right? Modica? Yeah, Modica. Probably. Modica. 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 Joe. So. It's you today. I think you said Joe wrong, though. Joe. Joe? Joe? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a jo? hard E. Joe? Joe? Is it a ho? Hey, is it a ho? Is it ho? Ho? Ho. Oh, hello. It's ho, ho Modica. I on the price. Old Joe Mo. Uh, you know what? He's listening to this in his car right now. He's freaking out that he's hearing his name. Joe. So, I mean, we're just going to keep it going. Joe. 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 Marika. Joe. Marika. Joe. Joe. Marika. Old Joe. Okay. I want to nominate my dad, Paul. Oh, did I say Paul right? Yes, you're good. Paul. Nope. Paul. Modica. It's Paul. My dad is currently the chief of police in mm. Spring Valley, New York. Badass. He has been a police officer for more than 30 years. And at the beginning of his career, he was a Marine Corps reservist with a combat deployment. I think my dad would be a good drinking bro because of all the positive things he's done as a police officer and a father. He raised myself and three siblings on his own, which couldn't have been easy. My brother and I both played travel hockey, so he was running around to all our games. He was such an amazing role role model that I also became a Marine, and now I'm a police officer in New York City. Ooh, you know, we get a bunch Simplify. of... We've had a bunch of New York City cops sending us... They were sending us videos of singing Pussy Whistle. I yeah, we should... Yeah, that was awesome, by Finish the way, this up. My sister graduated there. college and is now a police officer in Rampano, New York. Wow. Ramp, rap, Ramapo? 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 And both of my youngest siblings attend college where my brother plays hockey and was named to the all Sunyak, Sunyak <laughs> hockey team. All right. Wow. I mean, that sounds so, like a badass family. Yeah, yeah you got a bunch there. of cops, a bunch of Marines. Yeah. You guys are dope. Yeah. Joe. We know a lot of people Paul. in NYPD, too. Yeah, Paul. A salute to you. A yeah. salute to you, my we friend. Are cheers yeah. to cheers Paul to today. Thank you, Joe, for writing in and talking great about I your like dad. That, that was sure a nice pre- positive yes. one, man. I like these ones. I mean, I know when you have somebody die, it's it's great, but it's sometimes ending on that is so. It's like oh, another yeah. story that's making me sad right now. Yeah, uh, well, but we'll keep balancing them. Yeah, we'll balance. We'll keep again, back to the emotion thing. You probably don't get sad. But uh, no, I don't. Not at all. No. None. None. That's you know. awesome. What were you going to say after the, the Drinking Bro of the Week? Dan? Well, we like the NYPD. We know. So there's like yes. 35,000 people. Is there any way NYPD? that we can put together? So we're doing this right now. Uh, the letter today, uh, the request is with the mayor of San Antonio about us doing a show at a San Antonio fire department. Oh, wow. They will, I think, give us an answer this afternoon. Is there a way that we can do a show at a NYPD precinct office? Their PR department is a little uh, hands-on. So I don't know if they would allow it. But we can, I mean, like, you know Mike Cunahan, right? Yes. Yeah, he's a good dude. He's, he's, he works on their counterterrorism. Okay. I mean, anywhere terror. that would, like, I would love to. I want to start doing remote, like, this fire department one that we're going to do. We'll highlight a bunch of fire things. Uh, yeah. Let's start doing this. Let's start going around. Yeah, we'll reach out. Yeah, it is, it's fire. <laughs> it's fire. <laughs> we, also, we also have a local uh, San Antonio police officer that will uh, jump in the coffee truck with us and take us to every... Uh, outpost the, the police have in San Antonio. That's a good. Just idea. serve up some coffee. Yeah, yeah. that's rad. Yeah, I, I put that together this weekend. Awesome. So like that when we want to do that. Perfect. Well, shit. That concludes a nice little episode. Yay. So for Jared Taylor, Dan Di Diant Dan Holloway, Dan Diantwood. I wish I was dead, Holloway. Evan, I'm no longer here. Hafer, Matt, stupid bitch. Evan's losing some weight. Yeah, Casper, motherfucker. Wait, what? Oh, okay, we'll get that after the show. Rick Moranis. Yeah. <laughs> get it? Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, it took me. He's, this oh, is drinking man, that bros. Was bad. <laughs> <laughs>